silver stage, silver outfit. Uh, this is a good outfit to launch in. Uh, I'm happy to see so many of you here today. I know it's uh, the second day, so it can be quite, quite rough. Uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about our uh, Me Hack It. So here we've jumped already over the first slide, which is fine. Uh, all kids are super curious and they, they know how to use tablets and everything like that. If you have kids at home or in your schools, you know how they are very native in technology. But what I feel I saw with my niece who was four years old, she was only a consumer. She wasn't really aware of the fact that she could actually make stuff on her own. And my slides are running quite fast now, guys. Uh, let's see if I can back them up. Okay, let's go. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I wanted to, to see if we could do something. My background is uh, I've done Rails Girls before, you might have heard of that. Uh, we taught women programming and then also I've been to Singularity University and done all sorts of stuff. Also here in Helsinki, a lot of the, the startup stuff. Um, so we decided to have a few workshops just for fun. We had kids from all over, uh, so much demand, so many kids, so many parents wanted to bring their kids into these workshops. We had all the cool stuff like laser cut paper painting and 3D printing and uh, robotics, a bit of like robot construction and all the stuff that you would probably want to do as well. Uh, and it was a huge success, like these kids, uh, these girls are tinkering their soft toys to get blinking lights and all that kind of stuff. So super much fun and everybody got a bit of a chance to experience technology. So nobody's going to be like a coder or a hacker in one day from our workshop, but at least they got to try some stuff. The problem is there's, <laughs> there's way too many kids to, for me to go like hand, hand uh, teach or, or even for our awesome volunteers and everybody who's been in our community. So we needed to think of some other solution. Uh, I'm not a huge believer in MOOCs and stuff like that because they have 80% dropout rates and that's not really maybe what we want for our children. Uh, but anyway, uh, there's a huge demand for, for technology education and especially because it's a sort of myth that many people don't uh, perhaps yet grasp what, what is the right way. We don't, we don't grasp it either, so we're just looking for answers. We, <laughs> we don't have any, any, uh, any of the perfect solutions yet. Um, so, <laughs> now don't tell me my clicker is gone as well. There we go. Okay, so I've been a scout for 20 years, most of my life. And over there, we give young people a lot, of, uh, a lot of responsibility. And we work in teams, and we solve problems. And it sounds, sounds very familiar, probably, to you. Um, and I wanted to keep open source values within our, within our uh, me, hack it, me Hack It thing. And we thought of, OK, let's go through the schools, because that's where we get the demography of 100% of the kids. Because in our workshops before, we only had, had children whose parents are super interested in technology. And they would push their kids to our workshops. But in the schools, we actually reach 100% also those kids who, who would not be inclined to, to learn about technology at home. And there you see that if we reach 100% of the demo demography, then it's better for the future. Because otherwise, you would have the people with the possibilities in technology in 10 years and the people without, without those chances. So uh, we decided to grow up a bit. <laughs> and uh, that's why we've been kind of hiding for many months now, doing something new. And we're going to go into high schools. So uh, we're super excited to be with, with young adults now for, for a change. And uh, we have a few few different steps to our high school course that we're going to pilot next week in Helsinki. Uh, so first, the high schoolers get to learn stuff themselves. In, in our initial pilot, they will learn about Arduino, a little bit about coding, uh, a little bit about different technologies and media. And then they get a design challenge. And our design challenge that we throw at the high schoolers is that they have to design a 40-minute workshop for the kids in their school. So in our first school in Helsinki, they're going to design a 40-minute workshop for the fourth graders. And at the end of the course, they actually get to do this sort of play session with the, with the little kids, uh, which, which should be a lot, lot fun. And of course, you can iterate and mix and match. And the course is very, very 
uh, open, open, open-minded, open-ended, uh, in a way that that they're quite free to to take on whichever challenge or whichever direction interests them. So this is going to be really cool, uh, and we have our curriculum. Like I said, uh, we're looking for new friends. So we have an uh, awesome community, uh, very much help we've gotten. Uh, nothing would have been possible without volunteers and everybody. Uh, and we have awesome open source friends. We have a bank supporting us. We have the startup, startup circles and startup foundation. Um, but we're also looking for volunteers who can come to our one-off workshop. We're looking for hackers who could support a school. Uh, we're looking for teachers who are brave enough to take on our course in whichever school it is, whether it's a high school or a junior high or a vocational school. We're ready to try out anything new as well. And today I have a really, really, really fun new friend to announce, uh, which is going to help us help us build the next generation of, of technology doers and, and makers and creatives uh, with us. And we've entered a few year partnership with Samsung today. So please give a big hand to our supporters who are making this all possible. And many people ask me what's, what's our business model and stuff like that. Our business model is open source, which is uh, not, the, not the best business model always. Uh, but in Finland, education is free, and, and uh, I think that, that that should be at least for, in some cases of education, it should be free for everybody. So we all have the same chances. Um, nothing would be possible without these crazy people who actually believed me when I, when I started saying that let's educate all the kids and, and high schoolers in the Nordics. So this is our crazy team, Otso and Charlotta and uh, Mikko and Aksu and Vivi. Uh, and one thing that I believe is that there's like, if we teach everybody Python today, that's not gonna help solve any kind of problems of the future, of today, any job markets or anything, anything like that. So I think none of us here in the audience can surely say that or even on stage, can surely say that, okay, we know what's gonna happen in 20, 30 years, we know what's in the future, we know what skills these kids need when they go into the future. And that's why we wanna give them a, a broad skill set of creativity, of, of problem solving, understanding, also of technological skills and, and of exploration and, and just all these things that, that make a person confident to, to go and do something on their own. Because these kids are, are actually, they're going into a world that's not ready yet, and they should be making it, not just consuming it. Um, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not really good with this technology today. Um, there we go. Also, like I mentioned before, a lot of these kids, they love to consume products. Uh, and just imagine all the, even just the fourth graders, in whole Scandinavia, there's a lot of them. Uh, if they all are doers with a can-do attitude, I don't mean that everybody has to be a hacker or everybody has to be a designer or something, but everybody has to have the possibility to do that and also the bravery to say, okay, if I'm shifting jobs or, or whatever there is, that I can do anything I want because, because I have these skills and because I'm open to the future. And I, I don't want generations of passive, passive people. I want them to make a bright future for us. And maybe to end, uh, yesterday I had to borrow this quote from Marco uh, Ahtisari. <laughs> He, he said this yesterday, and it's so true. Education is what people do to you, and learning is what you do for yourself. And that's what we're, we're wanting to, to facilitate. And we, even though we launched this partnership, we have this new format and everything, we're still looking for a lot of answers. We're still looking for great people, if you want to work, work with us. Uh, we're still looking for, for different schools and different formats and different ideas. So, so any feedback is welcome. Our curriculum is online on the site. It's in beta, uh, so it's very preliminary. But uh, if you know anybody who's, who's into this stuff and interested, or your children or, or somebody, then please, uh, please direct them towards us. We'll, we'll appreciate any newcomers into our community. 
Okay, thank you very much. Have an awesome slush.